I had found the D6 documents, but Miller had not yet returned. Without his help, I wasn't certain I could get out of the library alive. But everything depended on it. Much, too much responsibility for a 20 year old, really, but we gotta go. The show must go on. I think we get the basic gist of this now, so we should be okay. Oh, it's nighttime! Holy. Take it there for 50 bullets. <laughs> Miller! Omen! So you made it, Arturo. I had my doubts, to be honest. Did you find anything? I got it. Okay, saddle up. Pacone, ребята. So, uh, where are we going? To church. Arturo, does the name Ken ring a bell? They help us find you. I still oh. don't know how you did it. music sure what are doing if getting the document doesn't mark me as a ranger I don't know what else would me riding along with my ranger buddies and so far the only human outpost up here Sparta's outdoor base I'll check the documents you brought. Okay. Apparently this base is a church. I was put in charge of radio monitoring. Our hope was to contact the government bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the sub-crews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver when I remember those days. So he was talking about the war that led to our current situation. Nobody thought this was the war that would end mankind. Maybe it was just gonna be World War III. Sure, there would be a lot of casualties, but not... Nobody thought it would put mankind in a position like this. Submarines though, that's an interesting point because... We ran away from the surface because of the radiation. And we went underground. Would it be possible to escape radiation in the water? I'm not sure. I feel like it would travel through the water anyway. Yeah, maybe that's not possible. And we know that there is water mutants too, so if your submarine breaks, then you're done. No, I guess underground is a better choice after all. Everybody here is a ranger. You can tell by their gear. Sparta. The Brotherhood of Sparta. These are probably the most trained men of all of humanity left. And they're all in this room here. Communications with who knows where. Oh. Equipment. Oh, note 2, what the heck? We missed one already? 
Why a church? Is it just the sturdiness of its walls, or do Miller's fighters believe it could protect the them better than anything else? It's weird that even those who stand firmly on the ground, looking death in the face and, by all accounts, must be quite used to it, still seek protection from heavens. Rangers don't speak of it, but I saw many of them wearing undercloth crosses. I heard someone tell that the world turned inside out after the apocalypse, and while hell ended under the skies, the people had to find refuge where hell used to be. That's why there's supposedly no better refuge on the surface than the old churches. I don't know about that, but these icons and frescoes adorning the church walls instill some kind of calmness even in me, as if we, the sinners, who had the divinely created world destroyed, can still hope for absolution, can still pray for salvation. The whole reason why humanity is in this position right now is because we had a war, because we had a war between humanity. Everybody else had to suffer for it. Church, though. I guess it's not too surprising that... Oh, look at that. That's a, that's a church, all right. Not so surprising that people are a little religious here because, <laughs> let's face it, in an apocalypse, I will pray to whatever deity can save me, okay? And maybe sometimes when you don't have confidence in yourself, in the people around you, a little bit of faith can't hurt. Everything is so abnormal right now. You gotta hold on to the little semblances of normality that we can get. And maybe that's why people believe in the political things too. Although I think being religious and political are a little bit different. Artyom, I'm Vladimir. Speak whatever you like. Oh. Oh, supplies. Thank you, thank you. Is this free or are you gonna make me pay? You can't find stuff like this in the metro. It's the latest military equipment. Replace? Oh, is this actually free? The cost in blood is outrageous. I'll tell you that. That's really cool. You know, in a lot of games, it's like, oh, I'm the savior of the world, but they still make you pay for equipment. Glad to see that that might not be the case here. What do we got? Whoa, why am I... hold up. Why am I suddenly lagging so much? No, it's okay. It's only lagging here. For some reason, it's really lagging on this item screen. What the heck is happening? Oh, hi there, Artyom. Hi. Oh, you're like making wood for us. Okay, I got no clue why it's like that here, but uh, we'll live with it. I don't know why my mouse keeps flying all over the place on the screen here. What the heck? Uh, I'm gonna try restarting the game. This is really weird. <laughs> okay, okay. The weird lag is gone. Let's take a look here now. We have our pistol. We have this Kalash, I think. And we also have this Shambler here. What do you have? You have a revolver, which is currently what I have right now, but upgraded. Kalash 2012. We saw this earlier, didn't buy it, didn't try it, maybe we can change it now. Buy gun. Assembled from common bicycle parts and metal pipes with the most basic tools. Yes, we've read this already. Revolver shotgun. Mm. Hell breath. The railgun shoots bearing balls at incredible speeds, but takes time to charge its capacitor. Deals lower damage if fired before charging fully. Abzats. This buckshot firing heavy machine gun is deadly at close range but eats through ammo at a high pace and does not accept silencers. Well, there's a whole bunch of guns here that we haven't tried before, and I really think, like, we're comfortable with what we have right now, but uh, there are a lot of choices that we haven't tried, especially the Hell Breath. I haven't really tried this Bearing Ball kind of gun at all, and maybe we want to try to make room for it now. Of these three guns, I'm not willing to part with the Shambler at all. No, this one has been really good to me, so I'll customize it, but I don't think I want to do anything else to it. No. Shot or a sight? No. Yeah, I don't like sights, actually. I think it's fine for a shotgun. Barrels, though. Don't think I want a silencer, but would I be okay with an extended barrel? Sure. You can try it out. Misc, laser sight. Already have that? Cool. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do to the Shambler here. These two guns... I love the pistol, but I'm honestly willing to part with it. Because I'm just trying to think here. This pistol is the most useful when we're fighting human enemies in stealth. Because we can shoot them from far away, silently. But how often is that situation gonna come up from now on? 
I don't think we'll be fighting any more humans now. We're getting to the end here, trying to destroy the Dark Ones and the mutants with the missiles. So for my... for maximum effectiveness, maybe it's best that we replace this gun? But with what? Maybe the Hell Breath. I think the shooting bearing ball thing is stealth. If we actually need it, it's silent. So I could replace it with this. Yeah. And for this gun here, I think we can replace it with maybe Kalash 2012. Haven't tried that out yet. But there's a whole bunch of stuff here too. Absats sounds really interesting. Yeah, but it seems like it's a shotgun. Buckshot firing heavy machine gun. So a shotgun shell using machine gun? I don't know. I think we need like a really heavy duty weapon, and then like a medium weapon, and then a smaller weapon. So this is gonna be my smaller weapon. This is the medium one, this is my heavy one, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Customize. Do I want to add a shot to any of this stuff? My Kalash? Honestly, I just like aiming down the iron sights. Not sure if I really like all this scopey stuff for a assault rifle type of weapon. I do like the night vision that we had on the pistol though, but that's not always gonna be needed. No, I will I will leave it alone for now. Barrel? Silencer? No, I think it's okay. Yeah, because the si mainly because the silencer seems to decrease damage, and I don't really want that. Misc? Laser sight, sure. Do I want the sight on this? I don't know. Yeah, look, it says right here, the sight makes it hard to use in the confines of tunnels. And we're, we know that we're in the tunnels right now. Duh. I'll be okay right now. I'll be okay. Yeah. Hell breath. Hell breath. Optics. Sight. For this hell breath, I guess maybe I can try getting the night vision. How about that? I haven't tried this at all though, I don't know how to use it properly. Base. Heavy duty capacitor. Makes the weapon accumulate charge faster, allowing for more rapid succession of full power shots. Extended battery. Increases railgun's energy reserves greatly, allowing for the weapon to be fired for much longer than without need to recharge. Can I only have one of these? Yup. I think I'll have this... This one? Yeah, extended battery. Sure. Miss? Laser sight? Sure. Do you have like a testing range that I can test my weapons with? Maybe not. Well, not here anyway. Maybe upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm exercising as you can see. <laughs> well, good luck with that. In the old days, this must have been a very pretty church. Come on! Hello there, Artyom. I told you we'd meet again. It's a nice base the rangers got themselves. It is. I heard you received no help from Polis. What's your next move? Keeping silent, you're turning into a ranger. <laughs> Take a close look at the road you follow, Artyom, and be aware of how it might end. You reap what you sow, Artyom. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. Well, Artyom, I've been chatting here for far too long. It's time to go. Yeah, it goes back to what Khan has been trying to tell us the whole time. The whole reason why everyone is underground right now is because we had a war. And now we're gonna wage war against the mutants again? What a mysterious guy, Khan. Just comes and goes whenever you need him. Note 1. Khan. I owe everything to him. If not for him, I'd rot in the anomaly tunnel. 
I'd never be able to reach the library. If not for him, Miller would never pay any attention to me. I don't really know what kind of man he is. I don't even know if he's a human at all. Yes, I was sent on this path by Hunter, but it's Khan who walks me through it. It's weird, but even Miller's subordinates, who seem to acknowledge no authority, other than their indomitable colonels, pay heed to this wandering philosopher and believe him. He has some mysterious power over human souls. I wish I could meet him again. I have too many questions nobody else could answer. We already know this, but Khan seems to know a lot more than everybody else around here, and it's totally understandable why even the rangers, these people who only know how to fight, would listen to him. And thank god they did, because if they didn't, I wouldn't be standing in this church right now. Okay, 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 there's not much useful in here, just hints at most, although it does show the way to D6. Well, that's our destination then. Are you ready? If we're going to D6, we're gonna fire the missile. Is that okay? Yeah, well, actually, technically, we're not getting the mutants. Not just the mutants, our threat, our real threat is the Dark Ones, who, up until now, have not really done anything bad to us. Let's keep that in mind. But I guess we're ready. So, how are we faring? Wolman? Is everything ready? Uh, Whoa! The firewood's done. <laughs> Vladimir? The gear's ready. You guys? Ready. Settle up then. Bakonyan. Bakonyan. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, Artyom, I've been chatting here for far too long. It's time to go. Farewell, Khan. I hope we see you again. You're just gonna stay here by yourself. The Rangers, this bunch of like fighting men, just lets this guy come and go. This guy has a strange power over human souls. Maybe it's just because he sounds very wise, not necessarily an actual supernatural power. Anything else I can pick up here? I can still buy guns. I can still change my mind. But I think we're good. Bye. Oh, this guy has glasses. Could you imagine how annoying it would be to live with glasses down here? If they break, you're done. How are you gonna get replacements? You can't. We are, even if we don't have armor that says Sparta on it, very clearly, we've become a ranger now. It's the old church dungeon. Church dungeon, huh? Dark tunnel, wheel rattle, and the smell of death. That's how our journey to D6 began. But our goal seemed closer now. We have a plan, but is it the kind of plan that we want to execute? I don't even know where D6 on the map is. Where are we going anymore? Oh my goodness. According to the map, there are several ways of reaching D6. Now the closest one is through the facilities near Kielska. Okay, we try that route. Kielska? We've heard strange things about that station. There was an explosion in the tunnel, and lots of people were buried alive. A rumor has it they survived, but no longer is ever realized. Whoa. Whoa. Fog. Fog. Bullshit, probably. Of course it is. Who'd believe it? Vladimir lost all his family in the tunnels, and he doesn't remember anything but what happened. <laughs> The people around us are all realists. They don't believe in the supernatural. Walk on, walk on, walk on. To see the sky. To 
see the sky, the sun and to breathe. Whoa, who is that? Sorry, Miller. I need to find the truth. Artyom! 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 They look threatening. They're not actually threatening. Wake up, Artyom! Wake up! Great, he's coming to him. Put the light away, you're blinding him. Artyom, are you okay? Can you stand up? Artyom, who is that? Hell if I know. We're arriving! There's an airlock here! Great, stop here! Hell, this place giving the creeps. No time to really digest what just happened. Even up until now, we know very few things about the Dark Ones. The control unit is broken to smithereens. All the lines are cut. Vlad, get your tools ready, we need this door open. Artyom, you stay here and cover our backs. We don't need surprises yet. Oh! Shut, I don't think we're going to smoothly. Watch your best. Okay. Okay, Vladimir, find the first block chart. Oh my god, we got a flamethrower. First we connect the wires, then on my map we throw the switches. Something's out there. Something's closing in. Ignore it. Oh! Coming. Fire! What's the range of my flamethrower here? Conserve ammo. I think this thing can probably overheat too. So let's be careful here. Holy crap. Oh, they're dying. They're dropping like flies here. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Although, I'm kind of burning down the whole place. Is that okay? Whoa, I got no more ammo! Oh! Hold up! Oh! I got no more ammo for the... The flamethrower. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Damn don't move, guys, don't move. Hurry up, or I'm fucking dead. That's it. The gate's open. Go, go. It's okay, guys. It's just the anomaly. Relax, it's about to start. Oh. It's okay, though. They won't hurt us. If you don't hurt it. Oh. I really don't know if that was a good thing. It seemed like the anomaly just disintegrated by the end there. Man, they gave me no time to reload my weapons to begin with. Okay, let's get ourselves together. There's a long road ahead. Oh. Okay, guys, this is the door leading to D6. What's that? It's short. It's dark in here. I think this is the actual Kalash okay. gun. Go for it. Yeah, they gave me the flamethrower, but I don't think we have enough ammo to keep using it. No. So I got the Shambler here. We got this Hellbreath here, which we need to charge up. Is it full right now? Can I try a few shots first? Like, I don't even know how this thing works. Sounds interesting. Don't know what it's actually like. We'll live. I don't think it's stealth though, but we'll see. All right, I will. I will have a shambler out for the time being. Oh. The chaos of the tunnel was locked away behind the airlock gates. 
They seemed invulnerable. And at that moment, so did my comrades. What do you mean, at that moment? As in, other moments are not like that? <laughs> All right, we've broken through. Let's do this fast and smooth. Ullman, you're in charge of the assault team. Boris and Stepan, you cover the comedian. Artyom, Vladimir, stay close to me. Okay, Ribeta, let's do it. Hey, what a hurry, Colonel. How about sitting down and having a smoke? <laughs> We're way too nervous. It's no rest for the wicked, as you know. Forward, my soldiers, great deeds await. Great deeds? Somehow I'm not too enthusiastic about the oh. history. This guy's freaking dead. Wow, this is new. We have an entire crew with us. And at that moment, they seemed invincible. Famous last words, huh? Well, someone left a skeleton here. Hey, how about we take it as a memento? Holman, enough of the jokes, Blin. When we're back at the base, we'll be sweeping tunnels with a toothbrush. Yes, my marshal. As you say, my general. <laughs> okay. We shouldn't fall behind. No. It's rare that we have company. Let's, you know, let's keep it that way. Here's the first challenge. Atom, flip those breakers. I mean, the fact that we have company. Not keeping it rare that we have company. Now that's a funny looking thing. There is a key here. That's not a key, that's a button. We can hear all sorts of things already. Not good. Weapons? Ammo? Artyom! Artyom! You alright? No, I'm not. I'm actually not, because I don't know what the heck we're doing right now. There is a key here. And I don't know if what we're doing is right. There's no way to tell. And you guys won't listen to me, because... It's understandable why you won't listen to me, because like, what proof am I offering to you that the Dark Ones are... actually okay? The breaker, did you say? Here? Oh, man. Again? I think we need to turn on the electricity first. This box right here? Or do you want me to, like... I'm guessing it might be this room. Hmm. Or... Is that actually a button? Hey, stop- Oh, wait! There's a freaking ladder here! No. Well, there's gotta be a switch somewhere here. Ah, oh, it's here. My electricity generator. Well done, Atio. You've just earned yourself a medal. Orman, check the pool! Oh no, I ain't gone. It's dark and scary there. <laughs> oh, it's so dreary shit. here. What's your language, soldier? It's not language, it's shit. Literally, I stepped in it. Yeah. Oh, that's a great sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sign, it's an omen. If there is shit, then something left it here. I didn't think of that. But you're absolutely right. Maybe I can just sit back and watch my friends do this? Whoa! Maybe not. <laughs> All clear. Look here. Offense is the best defense. Vladimir, stay with them too. You both stay back. Okay, let's go. I'll try this gun a little bit. Oh, Carla. I can't fight in such an environment. It stinks so much. I lost the sense of smell. <laughs> Boy, man, I wish you lose the bad jokes, Blin. What the heck? Here they are. Oh! Oh 
Oh my dear god. I think a guy like Omen probably just uses jokes as a, I don't know, coping mechanism. But he, he is cracking a lot of jokes for a situation like this. A glass of moonshine for each Nosalus. How about that, Corona? To hell with you, Blin. I'm not a comedian. Stop laughing, Blin! There's more. To the right! Where? This gun can use military rounds, right? I don't actually know. I think you can. So just in case, if we run out of bullets, that is a thing we can do. Oh god. Oh! Whoa! Holy god! Alright, you know what? We have to remember that we can use these grenades too. Incendiary grenade? Spiky grenade? Regular grenade? Let's do fire. Okay. Did you do that? I didn't do that, right? No, I didn't. Forward for the motherland, for dying of old age. But shut up, they're gonna make it. We have a thousand military rounds. Let's start using some of this. We might actually need it anyway. Holy god. We gotta stick together. Oh my god. Stay close. Stay close to everybody. Yeah. Holy god. We're getting too far away from everybody. What? Oh, that's water. We gotta stick with the crowd here. My goodness. These guys might not be strong individually, but they always come in groups. Me, right? Ah! Ew! 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 Oh my God! Tell me he's okay. Boris, my friend, oh. why? Stepan, Stepan, that's enough. You can't help him, Stepan. Let's go. What, Suki? Boris, I swear on your memory, they won't rest while I'm alive. The goddamn beasts. Okay, there's a pumping station ahead in the sewage pool. We'll need to open the door. Give me a couple minutes. Okay, go for it. It just goes to show how dangerous this place is. These trained rangers. The last bastion of humanity, if you will. Just a little more. Even they can die so easily. I didn't really cause their death, and I still feel guilty. I was too eager to celebrate the easy time we had with the last leg of our journey, and that brought about trouble. I couldn't be in that right place, at the right time. Couldn't help my comrade in time, bringing him back from the brink of death. I brought these brave souls into the adventure that happened to become their last. Our team, small as it was, is growing even smaller. When I look at my palms in the dancing light of a bonfire, it seems they are covered with blood. Wow, we missed two already. Where were they? This place is pretty confined. We shouldn't be missing so many entries. Gotta be more careful. Gas masks on. Oh dear. Do I have enough time? I don't know why they're giving me 
Flaming ammo. Flamethrower ammo when I don't have it anymore. Do they really expect me to keep it for this long? Foreman, check the pool. Ha, I always get the most interesting jobs, don't I? Hey man, like one of our kind just died. How can you still make jokes at this time? <sighs> All clear. Let's move. He does do his job properly, though. Maybe I shouldn't have left that flamethrower behind. I'll check it out. Careful, man. Careful. Passage down there. It's our only option. Let's move quietly. What was that? That's a duplet, I think. I don't need it. I can't. Oh. Gotta reload while walking around. Oh my god! Holy crap! There's a lot going on here! Do we want to try this gun? Oh, the bat ones are here too. I don't like this gigantic scope we got here. Oh, it's pretty good, damage-wise. Oh! Ah! Someone threw a grenade right next to my ear. Jesus. <sighs> we found the safe earlier, but we never found. Bro, we found the key, but not the safe. Unfortunately. This is the door leading to D6. Are we there? Uh, looks like it. This easy? Honestly, it hasn't been easy. I thought it's locked. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's a military secret after all. What's up with that? It looks like a blast door. Okay, go for it. Got it. Artyom, take a look at that room. Oh my god. Wow. Am I the only one in here? Adrian, are you okay? Great, we'll try to reach you. Meanwhile, look for an exit. Good luck. Shiz. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Whoa! Oh my god, these things are fast. Let me just pump up my flashlight first. Oh my dear god. What's that on the ground? Why is it moving? Living tissue? Jesus. Okay, we gotta 
We gotta go, because I can't handle how many more of those things will come out randomly. Please don't. Please don't. We need a fast acting gun for this. Shotgun might not be fast enough. Do we gotta crawl in there? Can we crawl in there? No, we can't. Why am I walking so slow? The webs. <gasps> what is with the ground? What is with the ground? What is this? What are you? Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. What? What do you want? Whoa. We have to move. Stop! Stop! Stop them! In a way, this is worse than the librarians. What the fuck? We gotta reload. Freaking the heck out. How do we even know where we're supposed to be going? Oh! What? Ew! What is it? What is it? Break it! I don't even care if there's some mutant mother or not. This just looks. I don't think we can actually do anything to it, though. 